Okay. Getting ready to go for our early morning walk in the woods. Going out the gate of my property. The dogs have to wait till I open the gate. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay. I know it looks like they're running away, but they know where we're going. We're getting ready to walk down to the pond just behind my house. Okay, I'm gonna let them go go into the water. They love it. Especially the doodles. They don't care if it's cold. All right, let's go. Okay, we're just gonna go for a walk through the wood. I let them all go out in front of me. Come on, let's go! <whistles> Not to her! They'll come flying by me in a second. They're behind me. Here they come. So they go out and walk in front of me until I call them back. And then they've learned to walk behind me when I say uh, heel, so uh, I can keep some kind of control. Not a lot if we have a cat or a wild animal, but we're just hoping it's not a skunk. They're they're in the woods. Here they come. I don't know if you can see them all running back there. This is Tori. He's my most athletic. I was trying to run and catch them before they got in the second area of the pond. We just came down trail. But once we've been walking for 15 minutes, they all want to go swimming. I don't care if it's 30 degrees out here. It's actually easier when it gets warm, I mean cool. Uh, let's go back in, out. Really? Here you go, no one's sick, Nike. Tori's just gonna stay out there. I mean, Indy's staying out there to wait. Here go. That's of course Tori in Indiana. Indy didn't see it, so Tori's going to get the stick. Indy will try to take it away. Come on. Come 
Montour, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Since this is playtime, we don't always do everything. Come here, Aunt Tori. Tori, bring it here. Up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's Tori going back out. Indy's out there first, so Indy's gonna get it. That's Nike out there with them. Nobody else even wants to compete with them anymore. You hear them out there growling about the bone in the water. They're proficient swimmers. Unbelievable. Good boy. Okay, so we're off again. They'll go forward. Out. There they all go. Once they've cooled down, they have another burst of energy. Not that they ever lost it. We try to do this about three or four times a week. Headed back down into the water. I don't know if you can see. Have to get up to the trail. It's Nike. Sissy. Have to watch out for snakes. <laughs> this one, this pond has gone down so much from the drought. It's probably 20 inches below, at least 20 inches below uh, its normal water level. They're actually able to go out to the middle of this pond uh, without uh, swimming. Okay, we're getting ready to head home, so I'm going to call them back. Come on! <whistles> uh, this is my house right here. Here are my horses on the edge of the property. Standing here watching this come up. Uh, three of them. I take them out with the dogs, but um, that's Jubilee. But um, they, the dogs have gotten where they race around so much it spooks the horses to, to avoid any problems. I just take the dogs out on foot now. Um, since we're approaching home, hey, come here. Then they're going to have to pack up behind me. Okay, get behind. Tori. Tori's my wild child. Come here, Tori. Heel. Heel. Okay, so I'm, I'm pointing the camera in front of me so you can see they're not out there. Uh, wait. And when we get to the gate, wait. Wait. I give them all the wait command so that I can go through the gate first. Wait. Wait. And they all stand there and wait. Okay. Okay. Okay, then we're home.